Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this Angular part, we will learn that how we can get a text box value and display it over the screen. And we will do it in a two way. First, whenever we are uh, typing something inside our text box. Second one is we will get the value on a button click. And at the last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. But before starting with this video, I want to share some information with you. If you are looking to purchase domain name or hosting, then you can purchase it with the domain racer and you will get multiple benefits from here. Plans are just started with a 59 rupees per month for hosting and they provide shared hosting, reseller hosting or VPS hosting. You can buy anyone according to your requirement and they also have a free website builder tool also. If you are not familiar with the web designing or web development, that time you can use this tool and make your website easily. So let's start with the first point and create a input box. So where we can create. So first of all, I'm just going uh, closing all project and uh, just I want to show that everything from root folder. So just go to the SRC folder app and let's click over the app.component.html and here simply create a input. And after that, you can easily see that there is the input box. This is a little bit enlarged in the size because I already zoomed the screen so that you can just watch it everything clearly. After that, we can define some properties also here like placeholder is enter name or something or name. Let's say username or something, whatever you want. After that, let's create a folders. Uh, let's create a function so that we can get the value of this input box and where we have to create it inside app.component.ts. So let's create a function get value. I already told you in the last video also, we did not need here to add function keyword whenever we are creating a, a function inside a class. So let's uh, just make a simple function and for a moment, let's make a console.log or console.warn and uh, we will print something here. But first of all, let's call this function from here. So let's simply make our event, which is a uh, key up and we will call this function like this. And after that, we have to pass some values, but how we can pass this uh, text box values. So let's take an ID here with the hash box and let's pass here box dot value. Let me format this page. Perfect. So after that, uh, it will whenever we will type something, uh, the value will be just sent to this function. So now we have to get this value. So just put here uh, any parameter inside the uh, function. And now we have an error that it, it will just asking that what type of value we will get. So definitely we will get here a string type of value. And now again, might be you have a question. So if I will type here something numeric, let's say one, two, three. So will it a, a number value or string value? Still, this will be a string value, right? So just simply put here string and let's print this value inside our console dot one and let's check the output. So I am just typing something. Let's say Peter and we are getting these values perfectly here. There is a no issue. Great. So how we can print this value on our screen? So for that, first of all, we have to define a property. Let's say display well or something and it will be type of string. So this is a good practice. If you want, okay, it should be equal to right. It should uh, it should be good, good practice. If you just want to uh, define the type here, let's say it will be string, right? It will be a good practice. If you don't want to just define that, that's okay. There is a no issue, right? All right. So let's uh, just uh, assign this value to display well, this dot display well equal to well and now we can print this value where just after this input so let's take a p tag and we can write here some text let's say box value is like this and let's print here display well and let's check out what we are getting for a moment we did not have any value inside it and let's just enter here let's say peter and now we are getting this value on our screen. Great. This is working fine. So this is a one task. Second one is how we can get this value on a button click. So let's create a button now. 
let me add a button and we can add some text here let's say click me or something after that we can call this function on the button click so just cut from there and paste it here and just simply write here click so don't be confused that how it will get the uh, box dot value because now we are getting in our button click and this is defined in a box so see this is like a id so it can be on the ele any element and whenever we will click on it it just fetch the value from this input box so there is a no issue at all so now let's uh, get back to our screen and we can just type here something let's say anil siddhu and whenever i will just click on it we are able to get the value from here great so these are the all things that we want to learn in this video so now we can discuss some interviews so first question can be is there so can we get the other properties also like we are just getting here value so can we get the text uh, placeholder or uh, name also yes definitely we can get here so if i just simply put here box dot placeholder on a click then we will get the value of placeholder in this uh, uh, display value because we just passed here box dot placeholder let's try it here you can see that we can also get the name property let's say name and whenever you will just click over it we got the username so this is the first question second question they can ask is there any other way to get the value of uh, tech input box yes there is we can use a two way binding also but why i did not use uh, that way in this video because see for that we will make a separate video right and i will tell you everything what uh, kind of things you can do with the uh, two way binding and this is the i just make a separate video so thanks for watching this video if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment box and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye god bless you thank you